What's going on guys? Welcome back to the kitchen. So today me and Emily decided that we wanted to eat trout for lunch and uh, we're going to cook it on a fire. We cooked it on the grill in the previous video and uh, I just wanted to give it a shot filleting the fish and not cooking the whole fish. So I'm going to show you guys how to fillet it. It's going to be my first time filleting a trout and then we're going to wrap it up in some tin foil and then head down to the pond and uh, cook the trout up on the fire. So we'll get started into that. So basically it's going to be the same process as yesterday with wiping down the fish with all this slime, getting all the slime off and uh, then we're going to start filleting them just so they don't slide around on the cutting board. They've still been marinating in the salt water brine and uh, then we're going to take it right over here and try to fillet this fish up. I've never done it before so it's a first for me. And uh, hopefully I don't botch it too bad and uh, we get some pretty fillets. So now that we've got both of the fish washed off, got all the slime off of them, I'm going to go ahead and dry the last fish and we'll bring it over here and we'll start filleting. I had to watch a YouTube video on how to fillet a trout. It's pretty much the same exact uh, way that you fillet a normal fish, except you're kind of cutting through a little bit of bone. And uh, I would never done it before, so I wanted to make sure that I was somewhat doing it right. So we're going to give it a shot, and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something if I do it right. It came right down behind its head, cut down to the bone, or down to its backbone, and then started cutting across. And basically you're just cutting across all those bones, just following that backbone all the way down, pretty much like a normal fish. See, I'll turn it over this way. And there's one side of your trout. We'll go to the other side, do the same exact thing. So with a trout, usually what you have to do, you have to pick through these pin bones right along the spine, or right along the, I guess, stomach. And uh, basically I'm just going to use this knife to hold the meat down. And then I'm going to get my knife and put it right up underneath those pin bones. And just slowly come down, falling right up underneath. Hopefully if it goes as planned those pin bones will just come right out. And those are all your stomach pin bones on the trout, so we don't need those. And then we'll come to the top and basically do the same exact thing with the top pin bones coming right across. And you can still fill throughout the fish and make sure you got all those bones, but pretty much that's going to be your boneless trout fillet. That's my first time doing it. Probably didn't get it the best. I'll probably get better the more that I do it. And uh, that's not bad for my first time. So I go ahead and finish up the rest of this, get this next fish, and then we'll get it on tin foil and we'll start seasoning it up. All right, so we tried picking as many bones as we could out of that. I tried filleting it for Emily because she doesn't like picking through the whole fish. I ended up leaving mine whole. I don't mind picking through a whole fish, so we'll kind of do a, I guess a taste test of a just a fillet and then the whole fish. But I don't mind eating the whole fish, so that's what we're gonna do. So now we're gonna pull out some tin foil and get them wrapped up and season. So I'm gonna do. I always end up making different sort of seasonings just throwing stuff together. I like experimenting when I cook, so I guess we'll season yours up first. I'm just gonna rub them down with a little bit of olive oil. Just make sure they're coated in olive oil, just rub it around. What I got out is salt, garlic powder, 
little bit of dill weed, red pepper, basil, and just some regular pepper. So I'll put that butter up underneath them, lay the fillets back on top, and then kind of coat the fillets in butter. The more butter, the better. I can get it all off my hands. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and season up the fillets. Start out with some salt. And then do a little bit of garlic powder. Not a ton. Garlic powder is pretty overpowering with stuff. I'm gonna try dill weed. I've never put dill weed on trout, but we'll give it a shot. I won't do a ton. And then Emily doesn't really like hot stuff, so we won't do too much of this. Just a teeny bit. And then some basil. I wish we had fresh basil. That tastes really good. And then some black pepper. So that should be ready for the fire. Now what we'll do, we'll just wrap it up. I'm gonna go ahead and season mine up and we'll take them down to the fire and we'll see you guys there. So I just finished up my fish. This is what it looks like cooking the whole fish again. And I pretty much just added everything. I like spice, so I added a ton of that crushed red pepper and uh, it should be pretty good. I'm excited to try the dill on the fish. Usually when you cook it on a fire, it gives it that kind of smoky taste. So we'll get to try that and also see how good those uh, fillets turned out. If I got all the bones out, which I think I got most of them, I'm, I'm sure there's still going to be a couple little pin bones. It was my first time trying, but uh, we had two fish left over from the other day, so we thought we'd give it a shot. So we're going to hop on the four-wheeler and head right down to the pond, get a fire going, and uh, get to cooking these fish. I don't know why our luck has been so bad with rain. Every time we try to film a video, it's already starting to rain again. I think it's like a 100% chance here in the next hour, so we're gonna try to hurry up and get this fish cooked. But it's already sprinkling again, and uh, I don't know. I guess we just have bad luck with rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the four-wheeler. I'm gonna go up in the woods and try to get some uh, wood for us, and I think Emily might fish down here. We'll get a fire started and uh, get to cooking. Well, I'm up in the woods now, and I'm gonna try to get some logs that aren't too soaking wet it's been raining for a couple days now those were the last two fish that we had from that guy and we didn't really know what to do with them so she wanted one filleted and uh i wanted to give it a shot i'd never filleted a trout and uh I did a decent job i don't think it's my apparently emily just caught a fish she just yelled up here well apparently she just caught a bass and uh, she asked if we could cook it. That will probably be another video because I love eating bass. So probably save that for another video. Right now we're trying to beat the rain and uh, enjoy some trout. Four wheelers loaded down. I don't know how the heck. I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get on here and ride this back. I guess I'm just going to sit on top of the sticks and stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it works. It is really starting to rain now, come on. I guess I'm just gonna go slow and hopefully we don't lose any sticks. <laughs> nice. So I guess the game plan now, we gotta get a fire going. I don't think it's gonna be as easy as I thought it was, especially since it's raining. But we got all the sticks down here without any falling off. That was an adventure. So now we need to start breaking up some of this small stuff and we'll get a fire going. I don't know why we have such bad luck with rain. I knew it was supposed to rain later this evening, but I thought we'd beat it. So I'm gonna get the fire going and get it stoked. And we're gonna go find somewhere dry to wait while these fish are cooking. Cause I'm not sitting out in the rain. Got the geese in the background and the ducks. I think they're loving it, but I'm not. 
I'm getting soaked. But we got a fire going. We just gotta get it rolling, get it all stoked up, burning good. Chuck the trout on, and then we'll get to enjoy a nice trout meal. All right, so I went ahead and spread it all the coals out. Now we're gonna put the fish on. And where's the fish at? Under the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Behind it. Oh. Hiding it from me. Here, this is my fish, this is Emily's. And we're just gonna go ahead and set it right on. And now, we'll just surround them with coals and pretty much just wait. Shouldn't take too long. Emily's would probably be quicker than mine just for their smaller fillets. And then uh, we'll get to eat them. I'm excited. The rain's kind of holding off. It's a little bit uh, better now. It's just kind of sprinkling. But it was pouring there for a minute. We were getting soaked. We'll give this a little bit of time and uh, just wait. Enjoy the view. Try not to get too soaked. And then we'll pull them off and uh, see how they taste. Alright, I need to find some chopsticks. Emily's should be done, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. And we'll open it up and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good, my friends. That looks pretty darn good. And the rain is coming back. Great. I'm just starting to get used to filming in the rain, yeah? Mm. Good grief, don't drop it. We might have to go up in the woods and do this. Yeah, come on. All right, we're taking, we're taking this out to the woods because it's starting to rain and we need to find some shelter. Well, when life gives you rain, you gotta go to the woods to finish your video. But it still looks so pretty. It's like film the mountains and everything. So Emily's gonna try hers and hopefully it turned out pretty good. I'm just gonna get this part. That looks good. Turned out really good. So, <laughs> I guess we'll see if my filleting job did good. And there's <laughs> not as many bones. I don't taste any bones. I don't think you taste bones. I don't feel any <laughs> bones. Does it taste good? Mm-hmm. Nice. But at least I got the filleting part and the seasoning right. Turned out pretty good. It looks delicious. I'm, I'm excited to see what mine looks like. I just think it's funny that we had to come all the way to the woods to finish the video so we're not in the complete rain. It's still, we're still getting kind of wet, but we we're gonna finish the video out here. We didn't want to go back inside for it. She likes hers, now I guess we'll try mine. And uh, I'll let her try a little bit of mine and see how it tastes. That turned out awesome. I thought it'd be a little bit burnt. I got it perfect. I usually don't set a timer, I just kind of guess. And uh, well, it turned out pretty good, so I guess we're gonna try it. Oh, it's just falling apart. Look at that. I think this is gonna be better than what we did on the grill. Good grief. Which is so juicy. Here's the first bite. Oh my gosh. That's better than the grill. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. It just peels. Look at this. You don't have to do anything. It just peels right out. And that skin. I'm glad I put all that crushed red pepper on there because it has a little bit of a kick. Wow. Here. Look at this piece to you. Is it good? That is better. <laughs> that is delicious. I'm very nice. impressed. That's the word I was looking for, impressed. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Use all those seasonings that I use in this video because that flavored this trout perfectly. It's not overpowering. You still taste the trout. Got a little bit of a kick. I can taste the dill in there. It's like a salty, I don't know. It's just delicious. 
So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and uh, hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. New videos every week, Monday, Monday. New videos every week, Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Was that good?